I think the mo- the main person who I thanks my husband first because yeah. when I want to do something he's always there to support. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In the future, when you get married, would you want your wife to be like mommy? Or... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, of course, well, of course. Knowing my mother for most of my life, she's a very nice woman, uh, very kind. And honestly, I'd, I'd see it as a blessing if my future wife would be like her. I think I would also want my future wife to be like my mom because, firstly, she cares for her children a lot, and I would be really happy if my wife in the future would care for our future children if I have any. Why did you choose to further your studies at PSB after becoming a mom? Are there any challenges you face? Okay, that's a very good question. Okay, so I'm actually 34. I got married young. In fact, mine was an arranged marriage. So when I finished my studies on 23rd August 2008, 31st August 2008, it was my wedding reception. It was just one week. So of course, after I get married, the result came back, I got one paper which I had to retake but because um, my husband was not a local so he had to relocate from his country to Singapore so of course when I came back for us to settle down and you know everything it took time by then I had my daughter, I was already expecting her so I decided that I need to focus on the kids first and once um, they are a bit grown up and they are a bit more independent I think that is when I can start to go and explore to you know do something to better for my career itself. And I think it really I should thank the fam- my family because they are really the <laughs> the main person who I should thank is my husband first because uh, when I want to do something he's always there to support. the support yeah. what is the one thing you regret saying or doing to mommy most I think one time when I was like very young I said I wanted to run away from home and then like I packed my like small school bag with like my water bottle and like biscuits I think I was like four or five very young yeah Regret one thing is when I argue with my mom, sometimes I feel too guilty. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. What would you say to other mothers out there um, who are thinking about furthering their educations? Okay, to all the mother, it's never too late. As long as we have the will, there will be a way to study. It's just managing the time. And support system from the family is essential, it's so important. Your mom is taking care of the family and at the same time studying. What encouraging words would you like to say to your mom to keep her going? I feel proud of my mom. And sometimes when she's sad, I will try to encourage her with kind words and I would always say, Mommy, don't worry, you're not alone. I would also help you. I'll tell my mom like, um, don't really like get pressured because she already taught us how to be independent. So we know like how to take care of ourselves. So like you don't need to pressure a lot. Then whenever I give her gifts or write card, I always like write this one Harry Potter quote to her. Um, like working hard is important, but there's something that matters even more, believing in yourself. <laughs> what do you love most about your mom? Oh, interesting questions. <laughs> I think it's the amount of care you showed us even from young, despite what we do. I think this is what unconditional love means. One thing I love about you is that you always ask how I feel. 
not many people ask how I feel. That's one thing I really like about you. What is the sweetest thing each of your kids has done for you? Daniel used to buy small gift from the school that cost $2 from his pocket money. And uh, during a maker class in his school, he made an earring. I remember pink and white in colour, but it was the sweetest. Daring sweetest thing is he, all, he never failed to hug me and kiss me when he wake up in the morning. And then he will send me a message. Mom, have you eaten? That is Derek. The message that will brighten my days. I think the recent one that I just want to share is um, when I did this um, enrollment to go get into the school, my dear daughter after school went uh, with her friend. Um, she went to Popular. She went to get me pen. She get, went to get me pencil case. She went to get me a stationery items. And then on top of that, uh, what she did was um, she went to McDonald's um, buy for every one of us. This guy, one day, so his school ends at like 1.25. He's supposed to be home by 2 o'clock. That day, I'm having a meeting. I'm panicking down here because I look at the time, 22.15. He's still not home. Suddenly, I felt um, that my phone rang because someone came to the door. When I looked through the camera, I realised it's this fella coming in at 2.40. I was like, oh my god. And the first thing he did was, Mom, Mom, I wanted to do something for your birthday. This guy didn't have enough money, so he only had $5, so he bought one cake. So he said, Mom, I couldn't buy your favourite puff there because I didn't have enough money. I took both, but I told the auntie, sorry, I cannot because I don't have enough money. And he bought a cake and he came back. So I think it was really very sweet. Yeah, I think I'm very happy and content in my life.